Ordinary sub stop, Philadelphia PA. Shots so loud, you would think it was a club spot. African Americans, although we all over the web, we the hood librarians. We ship the prisons too. We reach out and deliver to those that's bitten too. But it's more than a bookstore. You want it, we got it. Mixed taste, DVDs, and culture products. Black and Nobel got our hands in a lot of projects. We welcome all to come build the energy. It's positive. And remember, other teams is awakened conscious. Come through and experience this place of knowledge. They say they'll put it in a book if they want to hide it from us. But we got them books so you can buy it from us. Something to read while you're on a train or riding the bus. Get your read on, food for thought, get your eat on. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel. Yes, sir. All right. In the divine name of Supreme Being, I want to greet everyone with civilized greetings, peace, from Tep. Assalamu alaikum. What's good with everyone? Everyone's all right? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, how you feeling? You all right? Yeah. All right. As I was saying, um, these people call you in, and regardless of whether what kind of motive they have, we have to keep in mind and stay focused on who the real enemy is, all right? And uh, we're going to dive deeper into that when we talk about the, uh, the, uh, the manifestation of defect in that particular day and time that we, that we live in. All right? Use the mic. Uh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. You know how you get a new Christmas toy and all of a sudden you want to use it and show everybody? <laughs> and your brother fixed the mic and all of a sudden he want everybody. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you something, man. Being on a tour bus with Flavor Flav, man, for months at a time, I got jokes. <laughs> like, a, like a whole lot of jokes. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to bring the brother on in a few minutes to do a few songs. But before that, we're going to take care of this business of Paul Libation, calling on the, uh, the spirit of the ancestors. And I'm going to um, make this quick. Not that we need to make it quick, simply because um, in most cases, um, Paul Libation in front of new audiences is almost like you have to kind of instruct people how to carry this particular thing out and seriously if I come back to Black and Nobel one more time and it's one of y'all don't stand up to come pour libation I'm gonna be upset for real everyone has to know how to do this am I right or wrong it's not just for Professor Griff or the, the brother who's about to do a couple of songs or the scholars and the teachers anytime a group of us get together we have to call on the spirit of the ancestors to guide our deeds and to guide our words, right or wrong. If, if, and please take no offense to anything I'm saying. Everything, everything I'm saying tonight is coming from a good place, seriously. I don't want you to think I'm bashing anybody, but if Christians can get together and still eat pork and say Jesus' name over it and the, and the meal is good, then I'm sure we can get together. <laughs> y'all laughing, I don't know if y'all laughing at me or with me, I'm just saying, that's the best example I could give. Bless my mama's heart, man. She mean, meant well. You understand what I'm saying? She's just doing what she was taught to do. Um, having survived, having to survive slavery and post-slavery, yeah, we can get whatever piece of the, the pig we can get to survive, right or wrong. But we're grown, and we know better, right or wrong. So when we come together, we have to call on the spirit of the ancestors to guide our words and to ultimately guide our deeds. Um, so this just, in most cases, if you're standing in front of and someone is here from the tradition and doing it in the traditional way, we would take all the jewelry off the left hand, kneel on one knee and touch the earth, all right? And um, we would call on the spirit of the ancestors in the original tongue. This is the bastard language called English. So we have to do it because we have Black and Nobel and Philly on broad and every, right? But keep in mind, um, if that, those individuals are in front of us, we would do it the traditional way. But we have to do it the way we know how to do it to lead back to the tradition. That's one of the things we're going to speak about tonight, the reascension of ancient art forms. All right? Um, most cases, we don't call on God, Jesus, or whatever you call the creator until we get in trouble, right or wrong. Or we hit the lottery, 
<laughs> so we have to keep these particular things in mind. And don't just listen to the way I'm saying things and how articulate you think I might be. We have to take these things and uh, make them applicable to our lives. All right, this is just not Professor Griffith Black and Nobel for the fourth time doing this. We have to learn these things and apply them. All right, but I'm glad we're recording this because I'm about to put y'all on the spot. Because today we're going to do a different kind of libation. Can we do that? So I need y'all to roll your mind back to the early days of hip hop. And we're going to call on the spirit. Now listen, you ain't got to dig deep and know hip hop history. Uh, I want you to call on those groups and those individuals that put out those vibrations, those songs that moved you. I'm sure y'all got one or two songs, right, that y'all can remember. All right, cool. So we're going to start off libation and we're going to call on the spirit and we're going to explain what the uh the libation is all about of course we have to pour the sacred water in four directions all right symbolizing what they did when they came into the continent and spread our people out in which we now call the african diaspora all right so we're all over the globe but let's not get it twisted we was all over the globe before they did that right or wrong yeah. we was only black and brown and all different kind of colors and shades right we was already bald head wearing wigs, weeds, and died out here. We did all that before we even met them. All right? Seriously. So the argument that the sisters are having on Facebook about the weeds and the dye, we already did that back in Kimmy. Look at some of the hieroglyphs. You'll see the sisters. All right? So we don't even need to have that, that, that particular argument anymore. We have straight hair. As Elijah Muhammad said, look at our eyebrows. This is a sign that, 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 that uh, was left, the fact that we had straight hair. I don't care how kinky your hair is, your eyebrows are always straight, right or wrong. So that's a sign in us that we had straight hair before. All right, we didn't all, all of us didn't have broad noses and thick lips. All right, we look like some of everybody because everybody comes from us. All right, so we pour the sacred water. All right, and we call on the spirit of the ancestors um, to guide our words. All right, and we go through this particular ritual simply because if, we, if it was left up to our own minds we'd probably be in trouble today all right we have to call on the, those uh those deities all right and those deities and what they meant i heard one good teacher say that we don't worship the sun we worship what the sun represents life light and energy all right so we can call on those deities now when we talk about the divine essence everything that we have to pull from some of y'all call the divine essence god but God is not an English language, right? I mean, you don't necessarily have to agree with me, but just in your own mind. God is not an English term. So we call on the divine essence. I get phone calls a lot of time from young people who say, well, I don't know who to pray to. And I often ask them the question, well, why do you have to pray to someone? These someones are the anthropomorphic images that we've shaped God into being, all right? We don't need to do that. We're deeper than that in 2012 today. All right? So I always tell us, our people, especially our people, everything that divine in nature is in us. So if the brother was to introduce Professor Griffith, he'd have to say, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want to introduce you to God having a human experience called Griff. All right? Because the essence of the divine intelligence is right in here in me, and it's right inside of you. All right? It's not too, that's not too difficult to handle, is it? Okay. See, but now what it does is it takes the responsibility of whatever you think you're looking at in the sky. Whatever image that you set up in your mind as, as the creator, it takes the weight off of that and puts it back on the God self. All right? Okay. That water, that body of uh, water that we came through, 9,000 miles, taking that voyage and that trip and that journey from the continent uh, to America, all right? In most cases, uh, some of the women being pregnant and having children on, 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 on the slave ship, throwing their children overboard, because they didn't want to bring their children into the hell of North America. So we want to pour the sacred water. And there's a simple story that, if I could just tell it real quick, if you can remember, this is the essence of the libation. There was a uh, conversation going on between the black man, the white man, and the Chinese man. And we, they were talking about the ancestral worship, and he was talking about pouring libation and giving thanks and praise. As y'all know that the Europeans bring flowers to the grave of their ancestors, and they're dead, right? 
but we as black African people, we don't we don't die. All right? We never speak of the greats as being dead. All right? You've never heard a Christian say the late Jesus, right or wrong? Because to them, the Jesus lives in them, right or wrong? You never hear him say the late Prophet Muhammad. All right? So we have to understand these particular concepts. All right? So the Chinese people, our, our, Af our Asian cousins, <laughs> they always bring money to the Buddha or rice, a bowl of rice, some kind of gift. And then we as black people, we pour the sacred water in the cup. Normally we pour, pour it in a plant which symbolizes growth. But we're gonna pour the sacred water in the cup and we'll take the glass outside and pour it back into the earth. But the story goes as follows. They were, the conversation ensued and they said to the, uh, to the black man, when would your ancestors get thirsty enough to drink the sacred water? And the black man basically said to the Chinese man and the European, he said to the European, the same time that your ancestors uh, will come up out of the grave and smell them dead ass flowers that you put it on the grave. And he said to the Chinese man, I'm trying not to laugh, but this brother's killing me right here. <laughs> he said to the, uh, the Chinese man, he said to the Chinese man, the same time that your ancestors will come out of the grave and eat the bowl of rice. All right? So we're saying that to say this. The creator gives each insect, each uh, animal, each individual, group of individuals, they, their way of devotion, all right? Everyone submits in their, their own way, the way that they know how to submit, all right? We just have our particular way, but our way has been lost since we've been dragged from Africa to America in the holes of shit and dehumanized, all right? So let's pour this libation. I asked Brother Tyson Gravity for some uh, instrumentals, some hip hop. I don't know if he have them, but until he get them, we're gonna start. Uh, anyway, this is a different kind of libation I wanna do, all right? We wanna start out at the early, early, early days of the vibration called hip hop. Coming from the genetic core, which I'm gonna explain a little bit later on, giving birth to hip hop up in the Bronx. The earliest days that y'all can remember, who could y'all remember that started, that kicked this whole vibration off? Let me start off. How about Cool Herc? Can we say Cool Herc? When we say Ashe, Ashe simply means so be, but we need everybody to say Ashe. Can we do that? Let's say Ashe. All right, Cool Herc, Ashe. Who else can we mention? Melly Mel. Melly Mel, Ashe. Who else? Curtis Blow, Ashe. Africa Bambada? Ashe. Busy B. Busy B, of course. Ashe. Grandmaster Cash. Grandmaster Cash. Ashe. How about the Cold Crush? Yeah. Ashe. Who else? Scott the Rock. Spoonie G. Ashe. Come on, talk to me. Gotta get some sisters, some venom energy up in there. Come on. Roxanne Shante. Roxanne Shante. Ashe. Ah, uh, Vanessa C. Quiz. Ashe. I knew it was something about you, bro. <laughs> Who else? KRS One. Ashe. Run DMC. Run DMC, Ashe. Rock Kim, Ashe. Public Enemy, all the way from Strong Island, New York, Ashe. Brand Nubians. Brand Nubians, Ashe. <laughs> Come on, the brothers way in the back. I know you got one, you waiting on, you sitting on it. The Jungle Brothers. Who? The Brothers. The Jungle Brothers, Ashe. Three times dope. Three times dope, Ashe. D nice. D nice. She was waiting to say that one. She probably had a crush on D nice. I Schooly D. Schooly D. I say. Y'all forgetting some real important people. Come on, y'all. How about how about the MCs that came from Philly? Poor right to teach us. Poor right to teach us. Thank you. I say. Black thought. I say. Black thought. Roots. I say. Who else? Who'd you say? Will Smith, the Fresh Prince. Um, I don't know. But anyway, I say. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he gets it, he gets it, come on now. I mean, we can't, we can't deep throw him, man. He said what he did, right or wrong. Okay, cool. <laughs> Will Smith, you ain't watching this, don't worry about it, we good. Who else? MC Breeze. MC yeah. Breeze, ah, uh, Shay. How about MC Light? Yeah. How about Sister Soldier? Ah, Shay. Gangstar. Gangstar, ah, Shay. We said school D, we got him. Conscious Daughters. Yo, yo, yo. How about Last Cast and Yo, yo. How about NWA? Ah, yeah. yeah. uh, Shay. We're going to say Ashe three times for the hip-hop vibration. Ready? Ashe, 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 oh. Thank you very much. Give yourselves a round of applause. I'm the professor, but I'm about to introduce this brother, the chief. The chief Kamachi. Come on up here, man, and do your thing. Let's give him a round of applause, y'all. 
And can you bring a paper towel or a napkin with you? Because I just made a mess, for real. All right. Peace, peace, peace. How y'all doing out there? All right, sir. My name is uh, Chief Kamachi, one of Philadelphia's premier underground known that you don't know MC. For the last 10 years, I've been traveling all around the world from here to Paris, all over Europe, all over Russia, you know what I'm saying, all the way back to Philadelphia. Like I said, I'm the most known unknown. And it's a reason for that because I speak the truth, you know what I'm saying, and they don't want to let me get my piece of the pie, but I've been able to establish myself and continue, you know what I'm saying, to do what I do, how I was raised, you know what I'm saying, to continue to move the culture forward. I'm also, uh, I'm also a member of the Sarah Set Society. I've been training at Sarah Set under Raul Nefa Men for about 20 years now. Um, so, you know, I've been preset training for about 15 years, something like that. Um, Oracle's divination, you know what I'm saying, besides MCing and, uh, you know, doing my craft. But uh, I'm doing about my two songs for you guys. Open up for Professor Griff, you know, hope that y'all enjoy it. Uh, first song I'm going to do is called Get Righteous and Die Trying. And uh, it's basically self-explanatory. And, uh, you know, let's rock out. Have some fun, all right? That's cool. That's cool with y'all? All right. That's all peace. Can I hear the train Yeah. Chief Kamacho. Yeah. Can I see a peace sign like this? I see a peace sign. Freedom, justice, and equality. Right? For the better. Yeah. Philadelphia's own Chief Kibachi. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. I gotta get right to the die trying. Wanna be a king, not a big bill of supplying. Locked in the bottom of a jail cell crying. Gangsters don't shed tears, the OG's lying. Yeah, I gotta get right to the die trying. Wanna be a king, not a big bill of supplying. Locked in the bottom of a jail cell crying. Gangsters don't shed tears, the OG's lying. I talk to the karma king, try to get the game score. It ain't really blue to color cream, start the game war. I did some things in life that I should be ashamed for. Eight hour shifts in the snow by the same store. Dope fiends bobbing their heads with a vein tour. Walk with the steel umbrella if the rain pour. Welcome to the world, young fella. We getting slain more. Can't think straight, they put poison in our brain core. My sneaker money taking food out of children's stomach. Two weeks in the street, watch the good feelings plummet. Wasted so many days staring at the ceiling bloody. Can't get a legal job, a nigga, I don't really want it. I ain't shit, eating off the devil fall. Satanic decree, I ain't even the level short. It ain't no sovereignty, we're strolling in the rebel court. It takes us some time, my young mind never thought. God of the universe, why you send me to this earth? Show me my afterlife before you send me to the hearse. I just wanted to put some pennies in my mommy's purse. College decree, I might just catch a homie first. Crazy, what are the options that you gave me? I feel that I was born to be a hustler since a baby. Entrepreneur, settled in the wrong hood. 24-7, peddling the wrong goods. Just my path, dealing with the nonsense. Don't want to be a murderer with killings on my conscience. Looking in the wine glass, looking for my sanity. War zone, lay a duck, camouflage, canopy is serious. Don't get quarantined, our areas. Niggas hungry, better feed the pit, poor terriers. Bright walks in the moon, nighttime scarier. Guns go boom like they came straight from Syria. The government crooked, people is crooked. I'm just trying to get it back, but they the first ones that took it. That's my mindset. Streets ain't got a picture for a crime bit. Each day is our last, I don't know how much time left. I hear a voice, brother, take a divine step. Search deep within, that's where the divine kept. Pick up a book, study your history, fam. King kidnapped, got brought to a mystery land. We came in a boat, chain in a rope. All we had was our God and the kingdom of hope. It's our mathematics to operate the cable remotes. 40 acres, nigga, they gave us 40 ounces of dope. Ready to snack, like the pro playing man of attack. It's taking centuries to get our fucking families back. They got a million for sports, they got a million for rap. They working minimum wage, trying to get them a nap. It's been a minute since the fridge had some groceries packed. All I can do is try to get where I'm supposed to be at. See the light of the force come, dance to the world drum. All this bullshit music making us more dumb. The sex, drugs, and sex is weakening our health. I ain't preaching to niggas, I'm just speaking for myself. Child of Africa, raised in America, traveling back home, trying to purify my character. Yeah, I gotta get righteous or die trying. Wanna be a king, not a dope, deal with 
supplying. Locked in the bottom of a jail cell crying. Cases don't shed tears, them OGs lying. Yeah, I gotta get righteous and die trying. Born to be a king, not a dope, still a supplying. Locked in the bottom of a jail cell crying. Cases don't shed tears, them OGs lying. Yeah, can y'all feel that? Y'all can feel that? This, this is the real hip hop. This is what they don't want on the radio. This is what Professor Griff Mission is about. Public enemy to bring the truth to the youth. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to happen no matter what. You know what I'm saying? I'm a perfect example of that. Make sure y'all YouTube me and y'all see it. Like, why well, I never heard of this guy before? But I'm everywhere except where I'm supposed to be at. <laughs> but that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this song right here is called Chuck D. You know what I'm saying? Paying homage to public enemy. You know what I'm saying? And Chris, and I don't know what happened. Yeah. I used to say it. I got a letter from the government, torn in shreds. Come and see me burning, throwing a shot down for the feds. Why attack my temples? Face on the one and list. I talk power to the people with a blunted list. Payback, cut the shackles on a hundred wrist. Hurt, mother earth, looking for a son to kiss. Got my light back, shining on the one abyss. Bulletproof auras, every single gun to miss. Life, that ain't something that you wanna risk. I'm back, dressed in all black, why I come to this? One, two, might check, Sun Tzu, run away slave in the jungle wear one shoe. I am the body that great leaders can come through. Neck loose from every noose that it hung through. Can't touch us. Bunch of dead crew cluxes. Chronic Masonic, let's puff a few duchess. Watch. Yeah, put your beats eyes up for me real quick. Yeah, like this, the side to side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, let me hear you. Yeah, yeah, let me hear you say praise. Say praise. Say praise. Hey. Yo, welcome to the terror dome. It's still so red. Cross burn on my lawn. Pull it through a cold head. Stand on my square. Step on a sucker toes. Black friend flip. Locks on the water. Buffaloes. Gorilla palms. It ain't hard to crush your rose. Young tuck. So strut. Fresh as clothes. I radiate. Something out of 88. AK of salt. Bank block. Get the baby cake. My wife a queen. I ain't scared to say my lady great. Spend the nine planets. God damn it. Crazy rate. That burner. You wanna be a pro earner. Now Body, historical fact learner, house niggas, awful time janitors. I'm in the lab with the pen like Ben Banneker. Draw for AIDS in the West African canister. The killer fields, cannonball brandisher. March, if y'all feel that, one more time. If y'all from getting that energy from y'all. There's some ancestors in here right now. Yeah, let me hear you say hip hop. Say hip hop. Say hip hip hop. Now scream, they got me a lot. Fight the power, spike leaf, strike three. Honey gears in a hole, won't ever see a night free. Ham sandwich, watered down iced tea. Fuck the law, concrete wall, nothing to sightsee. Crutches with Supreme Court judges. All the grand pictures of family saying they love us. Next time they see us, we buried under the covers. Hell in the bag, I'm supplying my brother. Have a candlelight vigil with Leviathan mother. Half the night, half a life, trying to discover. Back in school again, the bottle laws of the hooligans. Watch, no one do it like young Dula can. Street sweeper, Paul picked the dirty curb of 720, you barely a 33rd. Great man, knock a little from the state pit. Angelic, but I used to be a straight kid. Watch, yeah. Hip hop and black and noble, yeah. That's the other way to hear something like that. Yeah, so let me hear it say hip hop. Hip -hop. Say hip hop. Hip -hop. Say hip hip hop. Hip -hop. Hip -hop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, the hard robber. Like I said, my name is Chief Kamachi. I'm from North Philly. You know what I'm saying? North Philly. North Philly. <laughs> man. Right. And we are made by great state, you know what I'm saying? And I uh, just want to make sure that the youth get a chance to hear some real music that I came up on, you know what I'm saying, in the 90s and in the late 80s, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know the old heads is 22 years old now. You know, when I, was, when I was 10, my old heads was 40. You know what I'm saying? The old heads are 22 years old now, right? No elders around to raise these children up, so we had to do it through music, which is one of the most powerful mediums that you can affect children with because it's subliminal, it is self-conscious, and it goes past, you know, anything that, you know, is, is real deep. A lot of people don't really understand the science of music and how it affects people's psychology from, from a psychological standpoint. In the tree of life tradition, 
we have <coughs> we have two spheres on the tree of life, one which is referred to as Nekabet, and one which is referred to as Wajet. These two forces represent the psychical nature inside of man. They're subliminal forces. It's just subliminal effects that you get from people around you. When you sit next to a person, like, I'm ready to eat. And they're like, damn, I was just thinking that. But really, you picked up on their ideas. Right? And it's a deep science, and it's very real, that music operates on the same level. Right? It, it bypasses the children's perception. It bypasses the perception of the average person. That's how you learn songs that you don't like. Right? How can you consciously learn a song that you never listened to? And when it comes on, you find yourself singing along with it. How did that happen? That's the thing is that we need to think about when we when we pumping all this BS on the radio. It's fucking ridiculous. You can't have a stop the violence campaign and 80% of the music on the radio is about killing kids and pimping bitches. Right? It's a, it's a blatant contradiction. Blatant contradiction. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do, uh, you ready to go out? <laughs> you want one more song or do one more song, Griff? Yeah. Are you ready to go? You ready? It's the third one. It's the last one. <laughs> this track right here is titled The Fall of America. Beat the wordplay. Yo, check it. It's the fall of America. Man, I'm in the city, y'all. Wake up and get A.O. Marshall Law. And get A, y'all. King got friends playing the part, but it's the better, y'all. If you don't prepare, it'll be more scary, y'all. Fall of America. Man, I'm in the city, y'all. Wake up and get A.O. Marshall Law. And get A, y'all. King got friends playing the part, but it's the better, y'all. If you don't prepare, it'll be more scary, y'all. The battle lines of Babylon. Televised murder marathons. African Amazon. Wrestling in the Amazon Marine Maritime. Watch the seven seas alive when I conjure rhyme. Why you waiting on a sign? Lost in the paradigm. I carry the cross, be head a bad horse mine. Never shed my physical shell on the third and third parallel. We paraphrase the ghetto as hell. Their reads on government filled with conspiracy tales. Paranoid in the slums, cause most our leaders have fell. Politicians play dumb and speak with fork tongue. Parasitic traits of snakes, feet in this little tongues, but wait. I ain't get the random, a random, a random Shootouts with the cops, then I fade away like am one My bullets go in tantrums, so you fall off from my handgun It's the final call, sell the band drums Of America, may I'm in the city, Wake up in your air, martial law, in your area King Alfred's playing the part, but it's a better, ya. If you don't prepare, it's the fall of America May I'm in the city, Wake up in your air, martial law, in your area Friends playing the part, but it's the better, y'all. If you don't prepare, y'all. And not the inscripts, prophesized apocalypse. Global war the warmest, ice caps, polar ships. No running water, gas, food, electric. The dark side of the moon, seven whole day eclipse. Angels with binoculars, police state metropolis. Freedom fighters, organizers, rally up the populace. Against the brainwashing techniques of microchips, the monetary system no longer determines opulence. Capitalism driven, generational recidivism. The Illuminati chants as we overthrow the system. Can't turn the clock back on the times that we live in to the powers back in the hands of the citizens. Executive borders, the Dutch to support us, protect the conformists, neglect the assurance, lose quarters. Recorded reporters, stress empty rhetoric. Ignore it, retort and express the importance. The stress and the torment, the rest without warrant. The justice is formed, the custom ignored, the scouts the orient. It's the fall of America, may I'm in this area. Wake up in your air, martial law, in your area. King of friends playing the part that is the better, ya. If you don't prepare, it'll be more scary. The fall of America, may I'm in this area. Wake up in your air, martial law, in your area. Y'all can find me on Facebook at Ice is the Savior, Twitter at Ice is the Savior. Maybe uh, during the mission I can come and get y'all some more, but I'm going to let uh, Professor Griff get to the lecture. Thank y'all. Give our performances 
another round of applause for them, please. Yes, so they, we have to make our conscious hip hop more acceptable to the masses. I heard uh, somebody say, you don't never see the conscious brothers being and they may bet pulling up on the block like they deserve to be. So we gotta get them there. We gotta validate each one of our conscious rappers to make them know that they're wanted in our community as well. But I thank y'all for coming out today to Black and Nobel for another round of what does Professor Griff have to say. It's always interesting talking to Griff. Uh, he's a very empowering person. You know, I caught in a little bit of that. But um, I mean, all around the world, he's, he's ringing bells. He's telling the truth, and we believe him. And we're here to support him, and we just want to hear what he has to say today. So uh, with no further ado, we want to ex ex ask Professor Griff to come to the front so we can start our lecture. Please give him a big round of applause. That's not big enough. Have you seen how many comments he has on YouTube and how many people wish that they could be here? You would be standing up on your feet. Gravity, a round of applause, y'all. And now to MC, and give a round of applause. Ice and Julie, she's going to have to do a song together, man. Y'all can y'all can y'all raise that? Right. I want to electric community. But once again, uh, thank y'all for having me. Thank uh, Black and Nobel. I want to dive right into this. Um, Tyson, is it possible we can turn these lights out of here? All right. Yeah, we got like the sun still over our heads over here, man. Can we? Can everybody see that? You don't necessarily need to see me. So, um, yeah, let's let's just kind of dive into it. Like I said, it's not prepared. I just want to have like a fireside chat conversation, just act as though we just kind of bumped into each other, getting off the train, and we having this conversation. Can we do that? Yeah. All right, cool, no problem. Um. I had said I wanted to talk about that this day being a total uh, manifestation of defect. And uh, that was a lesson given to us by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad when he talked about the deportation of Moon. Uh, I'm not going to get into any real deep, intricate kind of science because a lot of times uh, if people haven't studied this particular science, it leaves you wide open for a whole bunch of criticism and debate because people want you to prove these things, all right? Which we don't have, we don't have, uh, we don't mind proving them, but we don't have that particular time tonight to do that. Um, I'm gonna put my phone number up on the board, just take it down, give me a call if accessible. Just call me and we'll, and we'll, and we'll build. All right, as a matter of fact, can everybody take out their phone and do me a favor and text Professor Griff to 72727 so you'll have all my information. Um, and this is my phone number here, 678-557-2919. But text Professor Griff, one word, to 727-27, uh, all right? When the, link, when the link come back, just open up the link, and you'll have my phone app so you can contact me directly, all right? Is that cool with everyone? I'm going to leave it up there for a minute. Go to your text, and the number that you're going to put in is 72727. In the body of the text, you're going to put my name, Professor Griff, one word. You're going to hit send, let the link come back, and open up the link. When somebody does that, can you just raise your phone so I can see that it works? Phone app should come up, and what should come up is the picture of my book, The Acapella Revolution. It came up. Okay, cool. I like that. When the link come back, just open the link up, and the phone app will be there. All right, this is my phone number, 678-557-2919. If you have any questions, you want to dialogue, um, you need some more information, a book list or whatever, just give me a call, and um, we'll talk. Once again, my uh, website is www.pgriff.info. pgriff.info. Phone number 678-557-2919. All right. So, Bobby, oh, you want me to go back? 
Okay. Got it? Okay, cool. The body of work that I'm going to deal with um, comes from the body of work entitled The Psychological Covert War on Hip Hop. But the, all that I wanted to put in the book, I didn't get a chance to put in the book. Like I've said in previous occasions that I had 600 and some odd pages, and you know as well as I know, black people are not going to read 600 and some odd pages. <laughs> I put 260 pages in the book, along with 700 images. And I said, that's what we're going to have to deal with. Are you following me? Because our brother Kaba said that a picture's worth a thousand words, right? Then the symbol's worth a thousand pictures. All right, so um, it's the volume of work that I, I it's out on the shelf now. I think you, they may have a half a dozen copies still left in the store. The interesting thing about the book is the fact that I put a, a chapter in the entitled The Illuminati's Takeover of Hip Hop. Not to exacerbate tension, not to get on anybody's nerves, not to call anyone out in particular, simply because I started seeing this entity, this negative demonic entity inside of the culture of hip hop. And since no one else was calling it out, I felt it my duty as the Minister of Information and Public Enemy to call it out, all right? But I don't want you to get mad at the fact that I had to call it out. Um, I thought those that was um, leading the way in the conscious community as far as hip hop was concerned might have thought to do it, but I didn't hear it from them. All right? So I just said, well, just let me do my duty to my people and call some of these things out. So I'm going to go over some of the things that I started seeing and how I called it out and what happened as a result to that. Um, just a sidebar, side note, we got the news the other day that uh, the list for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the nominees for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame came out, and Public Enemy's name is on the list along with N.W.A. Uh, and I don't know if that deserves a round of applause. So people, some people said to me when they were texting me when it came out, because it came out early in the morning. And um, they said, well, why N.W.A.? I said, whether well, you like N.W.A. or not, N.W.A. made an impact, all right? Not only on the vast majority of people in hip-hop, but in the world, all right? You may be thinking right now they made a negative impact, but nonetheless, they made an impact. All right, so if I read some of these other names on the list, you'd probably be like, damn, okay. I can see how N.W.A. ended up on the list. Are you following me? Um, the announcement is going to be made in December. Ceremonies happen 2013 in April. And I'm just saying straight up, and I've said this in my last three or four lectures, that when you hear about the party going down at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I'm inviting everybody. I think it should just be all us. So you give me the award and just all us. You understand what I'm saying? Simply because when our enemy gives us these plaques and awards, all right, what is this supposed to mean to the vast majority of our people as far as raising the conscious level of our people? Now, if they're giving me a public enemy, NWA and whoever, the award, shouldn't that broaden the spectrum as far as the platform? that we could use to reach the majority of our people? Or should I just take the award and go hang it up and put it in my house and just call it a day? What do y'all think? Oh no, y'all not gonna be that kind of audience where y'all just gonna sit there, it's gonna be interactive tonight. Talk think, back to me, come on. I think it's to broaden the platform. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. Why not take it, for example, can you imagine Professor Griff on a reality show? So you can't imagine that? Well, hell, if it ever happened, I'm telling y'all straight up, they about to get an earful. Right. I think it's in the last two episodes, and they be like, God, <laughs> they won't be able to take it right or wrong. Anyway, let's move forward. The psychological covert war on hip-hop. I often tell people that the term psychology is the study of the psyche, and the psyche in ancient Kemet is the soul. Listen, the psyche is the soul. It's not the study of the mind. It's the sight is the, uh, the study of the soul. They've always studied the soul, simply because watching black people, they know from what they did to us, they're not, they, they know that we're not operating in our right mind, so to speak, all right? So we have to be vibrating and operating on something totally different. We're operating on what comes natural for us, all right? And in most cases, for the last 400 and some odd years, we've been operating in survival mode. 
We mainly do what we do to survive. All right, I see some people nodding their head with your school, but we've got to understand what that is. Brothers and sisters, that's operating from the reptilian mind. All right? All right, and we're deeper than that. Because you know the reptilian mind is basically you operating on whatever and however you have to survive. Meaning that if you're operating from the reptilian mind, all right, then you're operating on the same level as dogs and lizards and rabbits and whatnot, just dealing with instincts. All right? We're deeper than that. All right? But having to survive in America, taking fragments of this, that, and the other to morph some things together just to survive. You remember, you remember when we used to eat syrup sandwiches and <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You surprised you never ate a syrup sandwich? No, I never ate a syrup sandwich. Oh, well, join the club then. Let us, let us educate you on some things. When Mom Duke didn't get paid for the next two weeks or the, the paycheck she just got went for the bills and you just had to survive for the next two weeks, we ate syrup sandwiches, cheese sandwiches, right? Whatever the hell we can make. Plain. You never drank the red Kool-Aid? I ate what she made in her yard. Okay. I drank that the last year I heard Oh, okay. Well, that's how we had this one. Listen, love. I'm the 12th child. I'm the I'm number seventh son, 12th child of 13. All right? We had a whole bunch of people in my house. So you can get whatever you can get. All right? That's how most of us survive, right or wrong. But we here though. Mom did what she had to do. And we here. Okay. The study of the, the study of the psyche, which is the soul. The covert means hidden. Alright? But nonetheless, there's a war going on. Alright? And they're attacking us through the vib vibratory frequency of what we call hip hop. Hip hop is higher infinite power healing our people. Higher infinite power healing our people. Alright? As Minister Server gave that to us from the Temple of Hip Hop Karis Once Camp. All right? So it says here, it says um, consciously, pardon me, consciousness or unconsciousness, realized by definition. Psychology means the study of the mind or soul. To be honest, these practitioners should have named their subject something else, such as people control or manipulating organisms. But instead, they refined the term, redefined, pardon me, redefined the term psychology to no longer apply to the mind. It applies to the soul. I promised this good sister, Dr. Francis Crest Weldon, years ago that every time that I speak, I would give the people a fundamental working definition. You see, we have books up here that define things, but if it don't work and we can't make it applicable to our lives today, then what good is it? All right? If I came up here and started this lecture breaking down the molecular structure of the pubic hair of a fucking mosquito, what would that mean to you? You'd leave here and be like, okay, he was deep, but what does that mean to me, right or wrong? Excuse my language. But I'm just saying, we need to make it applicable. So I promised the sister, let me see if this is coming. Hold on. Okay. Racism, white supremacy, is the local and global power system and dynamic. Structure they maintain by person who classify, persons who classify themselves as white, whether consciously or subconsciously determined, which consists of patterns of perception, logic, symbol formation, thought, speech, action, and emotional response as conducted simultaneously in all areas of people activity. We have to understand this particular definition, simply because a lot of us think that there are conscious white people out there that realize they're participating all right, in the whole idea of being racist. And they'll throw their hands up in a minute and say, well, look, I'm not racist. I have black friends. <laughs> all right? But you still don't escape um, from being racist simply because just because you have a few black friends, that's, that's, that's discrimination and being prejudiced to a degree. That's not racism, white supremacy. All right? Those few white people fall up under this right here, whether consciously or subconsciously determined. All right? But listen, these areas, this, this plays out in these areas, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war for the ultimate purpose of white genetic survival and to prevent white genetic annihilation on the planet Earth. We have to understand that to that degree. What does Dr. Francis Crest Wells was saying? And I brought a few examples so we can make this very clear to you so you don't leave here thinking that racism, white supremacy, has anything to do with being prejudiced 
all right, or being discriminatory in reference to other people that don't look like us, all right? Black people cannot be racist. According to the definition, you cannot be racist. You don't run shit and you don't own shit. Plain and simple. You don't have the power to do shit. All right? So you can talk about people, say what you want to say, but you have no power to affect their lives. No power whatsoever. All right? Whatever you claim Barack Obama to be, sitting in the White House, which we're going to explain that in a minute, all right? He has no power, all right? He's being controlled. So let's understand that, all right? Let's push forward. First example I want to give you, did you see this in the news? No, I put real live examples. So none of y'all can walk, in here, walk out of here saying I didn't understand. This chick went to the tanning parlor with her daughter, and she just decided that day, I just want to be black. That's her granddaughter. All right, granddaughter, daughter. That's not the point. I sat in the tanning, tanning bed, right? And she just decided today that she just wanted to be black. All right? Now, let's understand. Explain that to the granddaughter. Why you would want to bombard your melanocytes to the point where, to the point where you're pushing them to be cancerous. All right? So much so that you want to look like the people that historically you went so far as to hate and wrote in your history books that you hate and demonstrated that you hate. All right? Now, this is ridiculous. So the very same people that you wrote off as being monkeys and apes, all right, which I'm going to prove that in a minute, all right? These are the same people that can't wait for summertime. And when summertime don't get in fast enough, you see them in the tanning parlors. Now you see the, some of the reality shows with the mafia wives and all these other people getting injections in their lips and butts in other places. Are you following me? This chick right here, it says, woman claims watching 3D film made her pregnant. And you see her holding a black child. Now what is it with the fascination with black people that's drawing these people in? All right? We have to understand racism, white supremacy, according to the fundamental working definition that I just gave you. Whether consciously or subconsciously determined, all right? This gentleman traveled from Johannesburg to Nebraska, and in six years, he claimed African-American status. You can't, how are you gonna deny that? He was born and raised in Johannesburg. He moved to America, right? And now he's an American. He's an African American, right or wrong? Okay, we need to go to some Taj Tariq Bay classes, man. Come on now. <laughs> Are you following me? We need to understand these things, but this is how they come. You see, they're waging the war on a subconscious level. All right? Did you hear the story about a month or so ago? This sister, Patricia Carroll, a black CNN camera woman, said she's not surprised by the incident in which two attendees threw peanuts at her, saying this is how we feed animals. The camera woman was at the Republican National Convention, tripped and fell. 